Hello, I've had quite a few people ask me about my keybinds as well as settings, so I'll be walking you all through a Supersonic Legends settings and keybinds for KBM today. So this is going to be a pretty quick video, so I'll just run through all the important settings tabs. So um, looking at my camera, I use 110. A lot of people use like 109 for some reason, but I feel like that's just placebo. So I like having 110 so I can see the most. Uh, distance, I use 250, so I'm a bit closer to my car. I like being closer because that makes it easier for me to make uh, controlled touches on the ball um, and just kind of get more mechanical touches per se. I use uh, 90 for my height, but a lot of people tend to use like 100 or 110. And then for distance, I know a lot of people use like 270. Um, and then for my angle, I use negative three. Some people use negative four. Um, stiffness, I use 0.4, which I believe is default. I like having the uh, camera follow me, but like not be too stiff. So it moves around still so I can see around me. Um, and then my swivel speed, I like having high because that makes it easier to just look to the left really quickly and then look to the right really quickly without having to spend too much time. Plus, if it's on a slower speed, I feel like it kind of gives me a headache when I'm playing, which I really don't like. And then transition speed is default, and I haven't touched invert swivel because I like having my swivel left and right be actually left and right. So taking a look at my controls, most of this doesn't matter. Like this doesn't matter, this doesn't matter, this doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Um, and then this matters for KBM players. This doesn't matter um, as long as you're not moving your mouse. So like mouse sensitivity doesn't matter for me. I could play with my mouse on top of my head, wouldn't change a thing. Um, but all this is controller stuff. And then this is like acceleration time. I haven't bothered with that. Um, I don't think it's very useful um, and I just don't want to mess with that. And then keyboard aerial safety, I would turn off because if you jump and then you decide that you don't want to go for an aerial, it makes you look up before you can look down, which is something that can make you slower at higher levels. Um, look at my keybinds. They're all pretty much uh, default. I've added, um, I've turned off or I've removed air roll. I just use directional left and right with Q and E. Um, I kept power slide. Uh, I kept the boost and jump on like the same buttons. Main thing that I added, I believe, is rear cam so I can look behind me. And then all of this the same, and I use uh, my thumb mouse button so that I can look to the left and right, which I think is really important, and I didn't use that until I reached GC. And it definitely would have made it easier because it would have made me more aware and helped with things like active thinking, which is one of the big concepts that I like to talk about. Um, and then everything else is um, default, but I still scroll through it just so you all can see it. For interface, most of this is just preference. Like some people like having their nameplate higher so that they can see nameplates more easily on the field. I keep it at 100. This doesn't really matter. Like you can just move this around if you want. Same thing with this. It like makes things bigger or smaller. Um, I like colorblind mode because it adds to, to, the to the high contrast and I like that. Um, I also force default team color so I don't see like random clubs, like random team colors that look really nasty. Um, and then I've turned off ball cam arrow because I just don't like having that on my screen. I've turned off ball cam indicator so that I can move my keyboard overlay lower because it used to like sit above my banner, which is where the ball cam indicator is. Now I can move it down and that takes up less of my screen. Video again, a lot of this is preference. I play on borderless so that I can tab out pretty easily. Um, I like high quality render just so the game doesn't look like <laughs> absolutely like dog crap. Um, and then I play on a 240 hertz monitor, so I use 240 FPS. Um, this is, I kept on high quality, um, world detail. I kept on quality cause I don't care about the stuff outside of the stadium as much. Uh, I don't care about particles and then effects. Uh, main things that I would recommend turning off are depth of field cause it blurs the field, um, when the ball is further away from you and that's not good. makes it hard to see motion blur. I don't like either cause that can make it like, it can give you a headache when you're playing. This is a fast paced game. You're moving a lot. Motion blur kind of sucks. And then weather effects can also hinder your ability to kind of see on the field. Everything else is preference. Otherwise, I play pretty low on audio so that I can listen to music and talk to people without having to worry about that. So I haven't, I haven't really done anything but turn all this stuff down. And I don't really care about the music, so I turned it down as well. Um, and then for my chat, I've turned off voice chat for now because I don't want people uh, talking to me while I'm streaming. <laughs> because then they might say stuff that's not okay for streams and I don't want to have to deal with that. Um, and then for my quick chats, these are the binds that I have right now. Um, so I just press 1 and then 2, 3, 4. And this is all default. And then from there, I can... Press one, two, three, four again and use my quick chats. Like I said, pretty quick video just to sh show you all my settings for anyone that's interested in having something similar. If you're looking to ask me questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below or just join my Discord where I do community events, announce streams, and then respond faster to any questions and such. But other than that, that's all I got for today.